En realidad esto es una presentación más interna para... This is rather an internal presentation for the movement. I'm trying to speak here to the other chapters, like the Buenos Aires chapter that uh, exist in the different cities, and also to the global movement. Speaks about the importance and the role of a chapter. Gregorio, I think that I need the PDF file. Perhaps there will be some problems with the file, but let me start with this phrase that was made by Che Guevara. If there is no organization, ideas after an initial impact start losing strength. So they become something of the everyday life and they are forgotten. And this could also be a quote by Milton Friedman, but it was by Che Guevara. In particular, I analyzed the evolution of searches of the Psygeist uh, word. Um, I use Google to track the searches of Psygeist from 2004 to this date. All the people who run a search for Psygeist. We have some initial noise level before the movement started. Some people might have searches. But then we have Psygeist, the movie, the first film by Peter Joseph. And here we started seeing a spike in the interest of people. In 2008, in October, specifically we had a second spike. That is where Saiges Addendum came out. Uh, that was the foundation of the Saiges movement. And there was a significant increase. Then there is a drop in interest until 2011, when Saiges moving forward, the third documentary film by Peter Chaucer was launched. Once again, we have different spikes. Uh, um, with the C days and also the Psyche Define uh, book publication. So the previous statement seems to be almost surgically accurate. Uh, you have a great idea, and over time it fades down. And then it uh, bounces up again. But what is of concern here is the level of initial noise, because uh, the level we are at now is similar to that level we had initially before the Psyche's movement was created. So it seems that we are losing audience. I'm sure that when Peter said that in a few months' time he will be able to complete his new work, we will have another spike. But without that organization uh, mentioned in that prior statement, this will also fade down again. So you need an active effort to maintain it. This is just to show you the distribution of these searches. In some countries in the world, there were no searches. The US, Canada, Argentina, Australia, these searches uh, occurred in different places. But what is the purpose of the Z movement? I wanted to answer this question, the implementation of a resource-based economy. That is clearly the purpose. But how? How can we meet that goal? Through communication. It is a little bit obsolete, perhaps, this communicational device that we have here. But anyway, therefore, if the movement tries to do this through communication, it will. It, this movement is a think tank, just like the Cato Institute for the Liberals or the Liberty Foundation others you can think of. We are competing against other ideas by other movements, other institutions that consider that things are great, and they are telling people that everything is great. So this is a communicational movement, and we need to reach out to people who have different ideas because they don't manage the same information, they don't have the same analytical tools, and we need to get to them with the best cases, with the best arguments. So. As a think tank, the movement needs to communicate. And this is a communicational movement. We try to provide grounds, rationale, data to show the current state of the world and to put forward a concrete solution. Of course, if we define what society is, society is made up of institutions and movements. There is my definition of society. But there is a particular purpose. Institutions are defined as those that are supported by the incumbent uh, system, the parliament, um, executive powers, and of course, society supports them. And movements appear as an opposition to those institutions. The movements say, well, this is not so good, so this should change.
So let's try to define a very uh, easy uh, institutional transformation process. The people who reject the established rules organize themselves into a movement trying to have an influence on those institutions in order to modify those rules and also to change society. So under this uh, framework, we can continue in this system with the convergence of a society where everybody agrees, unless somebody comes here with a revolutionary idea. Now, people, individuals, when we talk about psychics and about change in psychics, we need to change the system of values, empathy. Do I really need 50 toilets made of gold? So we need to change the values of society. So every individual has a system of values. I think that homosexuality is OK or it is wrong. So I have my own values. And every individual has his or her own individual values. And the way of assessing whether these values are relevant is what the size case this movement tries to do, looking at the rational aspects and um, different proposals. So institutions and movements are made up of individuals. So modifying the values of individuals will result in changes to those institutions. So we need to understand that institutions are made up of individuals, and individuals have their own values. Um, so it implies that you can exert some change in the institutional values through the individual, individual's values. This can be done through individual actions. There is a lot of individual activism, especially when there is no chapter. In some countries, you just have one person who watched the documentary film and comes out to the streets to do activism. So you can have an individual action. You can also have a collective action. A lot of people initially watched the documentaries, but they didn't know one another. But there were a lot of distributed actions, people who talked very well about this documentary. But you may also have some coordinated action. And that results in a side gaze movement chapter. When we find a space, we have a web page, we compile the information, we have speakers, we have new people who talk to us about new information, so we generate new content to improve our communication. So the chapter is important because it allows the coordin to coordinate the contributions of the different members in order to have a bigger effect on society. And chapters should be organized into teams because they can be more efficient, they can leverage the skills that they have. You can have a team organizing events like the one that organized this uh, day, other teams talking to other chapters, and uh, speakers are usually the ones that do not uh, distribute flyers. But I don't mind talking to 30,000 people. But usually, people who distribute flyers would not have the same skill as I have to speak in front of 30,000 people. No, the liberal presentation is not useful. No, disseminating flyers is not useful. No, it depends on how you coordinate each individual skill. But over the years, we have seen that oftentimes the members were left alone. A chapter was created with four or five people, and over time, those people left the chapter. For some reason, people who had organized themselves into a chapter stopped participating. And in my experience, after talking to many chapters, we have the Latin American organization. We have the global meetings of the different chapters with the global chapter administration. Now I see very little of that structure. I see that chapters are turning again once into a single person chapter. So you have to start all over again. There was some renewal of members. But this doesn't happen by chance. Some members moved to other organizations. Victor Liste, who was here, considered that he needed more concrete actions in a shorter period of time. So he's in Ingeniería y Frontera. So he doesn't participate in the movement that much. But he came to give a presentation. But I lost a, chap a member in my chapter. But that is OK, because those members that move to other organizations also convey the values of the second movement. So they start talking with other colleagues, and they start challenging what most of the people consider that is the established belief. Uh, you cannot have uh, this kind of economy. 
So at least they start uh, those discussions. But the truth is that, once again, we have one person as a chapter. Most of the chapters across the world have no more than one person. I don't know where they are. I don't know whether they are doing well. I don't know if they still exist, if they organize a Z day. I see we don't have that contact among chapters, as we did in the first four or five years of the movement. Now, as um, has happened and will happen again, then a new person comes and you have to train that person to start the cycle again. And that's good because that change, that renovation brings new people that may go to other organizations then. And this is the institutional transformation process. As I said, there are different types of activism. Direct, I mean, people going out to the street, I'm not good at that. Some produce content. Peter is a great content producer. His documentaries are wonderful. Event organization, I'm also very bad at that. I, I never arrive on time. Gregorio is the, um, the one that manages all that and other types of, of activism. So the chapters, as I said, we have the, I mean, we had the Latin American chapter with Colombia, Paraguay, Argentina. Chapters, the chapters need the global chapter to provide some services, because many chapters didn't have a web page, for instance. They didn't know how to offer a presentation. They had no materials. They couldn't generate them themselves because there were no members that had those skills. So a meta chapter helps those chapters to form themselves. So where there was no chapter, a person appeared with the tools to meet at a place and obtain more people to help organize the chapter. And the global chapter, until three or four years ago, had some active people coordinating the various chapters. They had a linguistic team that was wonderful. They translated to many languages, more than 30 languages, the moving forward documentary in three weeks or a month. That is the operational capability globally was wonderful. And one day, I swear this is not a criticism, criticism but this is the fourth year uh, since the book was offered, the Sidegeist Movement Defined was not translated into Spanish, and chapters need that assistance. The global chapter, given all the things that happened, is not as present. And there are chapters that, I mean, chapters don't require their presence. It's like there has been a dismantling. There is coordination, there is support as to material. There's a lot of material that has been done, the PDF of the guidance that you can download that gives you guidance about how to organize an event, what to expect. It has an activist kit, how to generate new chapters and other things, I mean, other materials. The role of a meta chapter, in my opinion, is very relevant in order to grow this. And then we have the books and models. What should the Zeitgeist movement do now? First, reestablish that structure that worked so well for a long time. I know it was very hard. I lived through that. It was hours and hours at meetings. But that effort ended up in a chapter in a specific place of the world that could organize these things to contribute new ideas and generate a virtuous cycle to avoid what Che Guevara mentioned, that whenever an idea comes up, it starts falling until it dies. We cannot depend on poor Peter that every now and then gives us that momentum and that push. Uh, to make us act again. We need to capture that initial drive, consolidate that in a chapter, and be also producers of local content with presentations and debates and questions, and particularly not only reach the audience, the public in general, through flyers and things, but we also need to reach the academic world. We need to publish papers. There are many monetary-based economic systems that have simulations, published papers, etc. And we have the conceptual structure. And as the chapters are not operating, and nobody else speaks about these ideas, we need to recreate those structures to create these debates and run simulations, create uh, content for the media, interpret the things that happen to say, you know, we told you that unemployment was going to go up. Those are examples. So the importance of chapters is huge today because, as I said, and we've, as we've seen in the charts, 
it's almost based on this metric, as if we had never existed. And I insist, I'm quite sad because I don't see another movement that has this drive from this perspective, whether on the left or the right, always discussing about who gains the space and the product of the workers' work. But nobody says, what if I remove the worker from the equation? What shall we do? How do we prepare ourselves for that moment that is and relentless. I mean, technology is moving forward on the notion of the human labor. Well, there are many resources in these five years. We have accumulated the chapters guide, the orientation guide, the TCM defined book, the new human rights movement book, the latest book published by Peter. I would love to have them in Spanish. So I end this brief presentation to try and achieve something like this. The drawing is awful, but this gives you a sort of idea what we should achieve in order to have a capability of action. So I would like to ask each and every member that was at a chapter at some point or that participated in a chapter to come back to the chapter and try to <laughs> recreate it. And we would also need to create a meta chapter again, to create the linguistic team again so that the people that participated in that linguistic team, again, have a tool to provide that functionality to the other chapters, translating the material, even translating the local material into English, because there's lots of materials in Danish, for instance. Of course, people in Latin America never saw it because of the linguistic barrier. And perhaps they contributed something that nobody else thought of. So it's very important to establish these chapters again, because it gives operational capability to the movement and start having an impact on the system of values of our society and therefore change the current system. That would be the end of my presentation. Thank you.